Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Video Game Collectors Podcast. I am Matt Rose. With me is Josh Byerly. Hi. Yeah, he's. I keep pointing uh, here, but he's actually, I think, over here. Um, and then uh, special guest, special guest again today, uh, Eric Hewitt. I, don't, I think pointing is rude. Oh, but thank you. That guy. My bad. Yeah. Glad to be back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Eric. How goes it? How are the Yankees doing this year? Not as good as I would hope, but they're, but, but you know, better than, uh, better than some other teams. So. Okay. Sweet. Eric is uh, definitely a big part of our uh, clubhouse chat, uh, and. Oh yeah. I am he- in that thing. I think he's one of the faster growing collectors. I mean, this you retain knowledge incredibly, so uh, it's great to have you on. You've got a lot of knowledge for the short amount of time you've been in the been in the game. I mean, yeah, you watch enough of these podcasts, and, <laughs> you know, you soak it all in. I probably sound like a brown nose saying that, but that's uh, definitely what got me started on knowing what the hell I'm talking about. So. I, I will say nobody keeps an eye on eBay. I, I, there's probably a few people, but very few people keep an eye on eBay like you do. Like your <laughs> your your eye on there is incredible. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm amazed um, you're actually working during the day. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how do they pay you? <laughs> come on, come on! Don't tell them. Don't tell them. I I I'm don't do kidding, any man. work. Um. Yeah. No. I I I try and. Uh, Man, there's just some good finds out there, you know, sometimes, yeah. but uh, it's it's far and few between, so it just seems like you, you kind of, uh, almost like a video game, you know, got to get a lucky drop, so, yeah. but there's uh, there's some, some really good, good things that have been popping up recently, I think ever since uh, a lot of the big auctions have going off, you just see a lot of people listing video games that are uncommon, like seeing, a, I saw Strider 2 go to auction today. Uh, or end in auction today on eBay, which is just like, you don't see those things come up too often. So just things like that. It's cool. Sweet. Yeah. I'm excited because I'm looking at eBay now and you, I know you're not. So maybe I can get some. <laughs> so maybe we'll have an opportunity. That he's, he's on his, <laughs> yeah. On we his just, we just mobile. brought you on so we could get some games. Like, <laughs> sons of a bitch. <laughs> but uh, hey, I, a nice looking Oracle of seasons just got posted for a thousand bucks. Is that a good deal? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you tell me, Mister Foil, non-foil. I just know what I know based on dates, bro. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what? Are we, so we're we'll come back and we'll we. I want to go into some more detail about some cool stuff that Eric's been doing. Uh, came out of hibernation and did some cool things. So we'll touch on that in a bit, but. Josh, you want to? We, we want to do something we haven't done before, uh, and Eric's going to play a good part in this too. Uh, we're going to take a look at the upcoming uh, heritage auction, weekly auction, rather than yep. go over the old auction, uh, and just give our thoughts on that. So, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Sweet. Can you see that? Is it good yes, to go? Yes, I can. Yep. Awesome. I'm gonna pull this a little more on screen. Should be good. Maybe All right. they should. So it's always funny. You do it alphabetical, right? Maybe they should reverse it up a little bit. You know, put a Xbox first. <laughs> something one of these days. Nobody would stick around for Atari then, I guess. But I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like nobody sticks around for Xbox. Honestly. But well, that's good for some of us. Yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I know what you're saying. I think that there's Yeah, they I'm not sure what it is. Maybe maybe alphabetical just is the best way, but maybe uh, alpha alphabetical by title. Regardless of console. Interesting. It's yeah. interesting. It's interesting now that I'm looking at it. I guess I kind of always just assumed that they did the games alphabetical as well, but I realized that they don't, do they? Or do they? No, they do. Um, they just threw Moon Patrol 
the, I don't know why that Pac-Man's chilling there. Yeah, that's that kind of strange. Throws me off. Um, Moon Patrol because it's Apple II. Sure. But Pac-Man somehow slipped in. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Anyway, yeah, that, that's so, pretty low. For, yeah, yeah. That's a six five NS. That's a three hundred grade. Two hundred first release of it. Uh, mm. Oh shit! Mm. Okay, I, I wasn't. I didn't know. Honestly, I, it's probably one of the few things that I wasn't aware of in terms of the Pac Man stuff. Is I've seen a lot of the variants, but I never knew what first first version was. Yeah, the the versions will have um, either this Pac Man is white up here, or it will the second version will be under the game program area. Oops, not bad. We've talked about this before, um, and mm. the game game program will be in above it, and the lettering of Pac Man will be in blue above below that. Okay, I have seen that one. Yeah, but it's the same cover. That was mostly the one that came out with the. Uh, second run of them i guess so um with the packed in with the vader systems but anyways then, pac-man these were ns if they i don't want to say they were all ns but a good majority of them were they um just didn't have plastic on them so that's what it was their glue a flap lid on the back all of them would be that way they came out in 80 says 81 it's like december 81 82 um but they're always beat up they're mm-hmm. just always really beat up so six five is fine it's six five bad. six five is kind of like the average really yeah. yeah yeah i think i think it's a little above average you think so because five you know five and below would be average <laughs> no i was gonna say i think that in general like i feel like six five is always a good um like bottom grade you know for a lot of like high-end collectors like a lot of people it seems like they still will go for six fives you know if the title is good enough um but kind of below that it seems um a little bit you know less common for some folks to go for it so I, yeah i always feel like six five is on solid there. grade on a good title yeah i think it's good on pac-man especially so yeah yeah yeah, on some of the rare stuff, right? Yeah, that's you can get one, but when you get one, it's going to be a uh, five zero to seven five. Yep. Every day of the week, yep. or worse. You're not getting an eight five. You're not getting a nine two. No. You're getting one of those. That's what it is. So, um, I don't know. We don't have to go over too many Atari. Just let's pick out a couple. Yeah. Uh, you just you Keep just going. Keep going. Nice, nice grades. Oh, Mario. Oh, mm, I don't really care. <laughs> Later print. I like Pitfall Five Five Seal better position. than Mario Seven L. It's a great a lot of, I was gonna say there's been a lot of uh, higher grade pole positions in the last recent weeks. I feel like an eight point oh. It's yeah. a nice pitfall though. Mm. Yeah, it's pitfall an opportunity. I for. Yeah, it's an opportunity for someone to get one at a decent price. Yeah. I I definitely put that on my watch list, and they threw a Final Fantasy Legend somewhere in here, apparently. Mm-hmm. Oh damn, it's gonna. Yeah, Are you not yeah. signed in, Matt? You want me to sign in? No. Fine. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna sign in. I was, gonna, I was gonna track it. Yeah, how did this Is that get a in the Sunsoft? Of. Dude, that's a, square. a square. That's a square. That's stick. Wow. That's Ooh. the gem of the auction right there. Was this the one that was sitting for a while? Maybe on eBay it got crossed? Or there was Maybe. a VGA? Was it a VGA? Oh, wow. I think there was a VGA 70 or something sitting yeah. for a while. Maybe Square. Um, it's funny they put... Matt, can you click on this or does it... Yeah, yeah no. I, I just wanted you to ex- explain the difference because, I mean, <clears throat> I don't oh, follow sure. this too much. So explain the Square what's versus the, Sunsoft. What's the next image? Can you read the back of that? Yeah, let me, let me zoom in. Wow, it actually is square. That's crazy. Yeah. Oops. Pull up to the details. Bitch. What'd you do? Uh, I'm just, you know. I mean, you've been doing this so many weeks. I'm surprised you're still so bad Some at bitch. it. Some bitch. Um, okay. <laughs> there's, apparently, there's a hole in the box. I don't know. Mm. That's what killed the grade, apparently. Uh, probably box. displays pretty nice. Holes in box, maybe. In, in box. box. 
maybe one here. I don't. That's weird. Let's yeah. talk about. Maybe you can see one on the front, but I don't. I don't see anything. Top right, maybe was that where it was? No. Nah. Must mm. be on the edge, like mm. on the sides. That's weird. Unless they're like pinholes, you know, right up in here, because you can see there's some. Yeah, there's a hole. Anyways, it's a square version. Square mm. versus a Sunsoft. Um, Sunsoft were later prints. They were even, I think, even Final Fantasy, whatever the black covered one is. I think they even have one with a, a K through A rating on one. Um, which puts it around a 1998 release. So those are all really late releases. They're just, they'd be like the Majesco versions of the Game Boy compared to the made in Japan's, right? That's so yeah. the square version is very rare. Um, any of the Final Fantasy Legends square variants are tough. Very tough. Uh, six fives is probably going to sleep because of the grade, but uh, it's one that I would recommend to go for if you are into popular franchises good variants and hard to find seal that's one right there there you go okay so that was in the middle of atari yeah Auto. yeah what the hell why is that i don't know whatever man um it's a good great skiing just throwing yeah. that out there yep Ooh. we got tutan com uh whatever superman cib okay food com 90 ns these are i was say i don't see this too often yeah these are the hang tab ones so they're not like a setup box and these are easily damaged and they're softer than the typical parker brother boxes um they are they're hard to find the 90 is not a bad grade they never have plastic so you, you have a glue flap seal on it on the back <clears throat> kind of like uh in television donkey kongs and the Coleco games, they had the flap on them. So hmm. uh, that's a that's yeah. a sleeper here for sure. Probably gonna go by the wayside, but that's okay. Maybe I'll buy it, I don't have one. Do, do, do. Chop lifter for 5200 is pretty cool. I like that. And uh, NFR, Pac-Man on the right too. Yeah, I like it. Oh, the Pac-Man 5200. So yeah, this was sold with the 5200. It says right on there. This was the pack-in system one. Um, there were case packs, but not of the ones with the NFR on it, which are kind of neat. And you don't see a lot of. Yeah, just maybe. call. Oh. Oh, that's uh, the, sorry. I thought that was the. Uh, yeah, there's some 5200 20. games here. That's kind of interesting. You don't see them too often. This Pac-Man 5200 is not common. Gremlins yeah, I don't probably, think I've seen that cover ever. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Gremlins just, is probably one of the more common, but it's it's a great cover. It's a good. It is a good cover. Property. I love that movie, and mm -hmm. and the second one was you know a little bit more ridiculous, but that's still rad. You know, still got still a mm -hmm. classic. Like those. Um, there's a pole position for fifty two hundred in here. That's cool. Wow, I haven't seen one of those. Yeah. Wow, that is cool. Uh, yeah, and zero dollars. The rescue of Fractalus is Lucas Films game, right? So this is um, pretty neat. But there are case packs of these out there. Uh, I bought a case pack off Heritage actually for like a hundred bucks. That's cool. Yeah. Um, all right, we get this is seventy eight hundred. Um, yada that's yada. That's a cool xenophobe cover. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, those are neat. That thing is. Fucked up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, well, the other one is a lot more tame of a cover, right? If I'm not mistaken. Man, I'm surprised that even got a 5 0 the way that thing looks. <laughs> it's crunchy. I mean, that's probably it, though. The rest of it's probably good. Good. Yeah. It's a sweet cover. Mm hmm. That's a Brian. Um, what's that Brian going? Allen he did the Rampage. He did this game, too. So. Hmm. Uh, the arcade versions, anyways. Badass. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're done with Atari and all this shit. <laughs> let's keep going. Oh, let's touch on this Donkey Kong here. Not the one below it. 
let's keep going down that. It's the oh, this one. Um, yeah, yeah. This is a European release of it. Donkey Kong was pretty badass. I bet this is going to do well just based on it being something Heritage hasn't seen yet. But these are out there. So I think the seller in yeah. Florida has these, the video game warehouse, whatever their name is. Um, pretty good grade, I would imagine. It's a nice grade. Yeah. But they're all pretty nice. Yeah. I was going to say that I uh, at first thought that they were more rare, but maybe there's case packs, I guess. Yeah. There's some case packs. And these Game Boy games are all over. Man. Yeah, it feels like they're finally um, picking up a lot of... I mean, we f- it feels like it's been weeks that they've been staying up there. Mm-hmm. Um, so it definitely hasn't been fluke, you know, fluke auctions. Even the 8.5s and stuff are doing well, so... Yeah. I sent them a Mario 8.5 on the Game Boy Advance games. The um, For the classic, the classic series. series. Yeah. So, what would the last Mario go for? Wasn't it like a thousand or something? A thousand bucks, yeah. It was yeah. a nine hour eight plus. Okay. I thought it was strong, but I guess I've been under a bridge for a while. So, <laughs> um, I haven't seen many go for less than like 500 bucks. Like they've all been 500 or over. Huh. And of course, we got some Nintendo. We got a double dragon CIB. Look at that. Nine four CIB. Oh, what, wow. a, what a that grid. Nice. Damn. There's a nice lot of copy. collectors I see that go for those 9.4 and above mm-hmm. CFBs. Just I so mean, tough to get. You got to have like a, right? You have to have a 9.0 box at least or a 9.2 to get a 9.4. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So that's a nice box, yeah. whatever it is. Maybe it's a 9.4 box. You can upgrade Speaking it. Speaking of nice. nice boxes, this Excite bike coming up. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Yeah, let's talk Pretty about Pretty gorgeous. That. Man. Yeah. It's like somebody threw up on the bottom corner. Yeah. Now, I was just traveling, and I played my Nintendo Switch because I was so bored of watching movies. Played this thing, and I realized, oh, yeah, I can play, like, old old NES games because they have, like, the, you know, online apps for NES and SNES. So I was playing some Excitebike, and I was like, damn, this game does hold up. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's fun. But yeah, it's fun. Game. Yeah, out of uh, yeah, I was playing through a bunch of different ones, but between I was playing that and uh, and then I eventually played uh, Demon's Crest, mm-hmm. which was fun too. Yeah, so this must have slipped in before Wada started <sighs> getting the um, red logo for moldy games. So I don't you, know if you guys saw you, that on comic. Yeah, game. you say did this see that mold for sure. Then, well, yeah, okay, I see Either it. That or, yeah. What do you think it is, Matt? <laughs> I, like I said, I somebody threw up on it and maybe it leached through. Wow, that's that's pretty moldy. The dog took a piss on it right there. That's what it is. Man, that's not really sure it's... what Matt's throwing up here, but janky. <laughs> um, we don't want to ask that question, I guess. Yeah how how does this affect this value? Uh, the, even though it's a five o five o without mold, what do you think this thing would have done? Without the mold? Yeah. Uh, Jeez. God, this thing oh, no, was that kind of a question. Been stuff. like an eight, so. No, no, but say it was a five O still, but didn't have the mold. What do you think? Oh, oh, wow. How is that gonna affect this? Say oh, it's a five O and it has that big ass crunch in the corner like the xenophobe did. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, without the mold, my God. Um, I would think this would go for. What did the last one go for? Uh, but that was, I think what that was a, that was a oval. Oh. I think this is pretty strong considering it's a five zero and it's moldy as fuck. So yeah, so you think five hundred strong for it, right? As it sits, yeah. I mean, you buying health hazard, right? So um, I don't know. I think this would be two or three grand, four grand, five five zero without the mold, without it. Without, yeah. A, yeah. Just because it's a circle. Oval, yeah, I think, I think, I think it'd right. be less. I think it's around two without the mold in a five though. Yeah. So. That was my gut. That's cheesy. Hmm. All right. We got a Gremlins 2. Eric. Yeah. Hey, like I said, it's <clears> equal <throat> to the 5200. It's a good movie. You know, 
it's not a great movie like the first one, but it's a good movie. Phoebe Cates is still in it, so it's good to me. And the uh, the bow and arrow <laughs> scene is ridiculous. The Rambo scene. So yeah, yeah. Oh man, you know, Phoebe Cates. Yeah, hey. The one that got away. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You do. Here's a mat sticker that has no top to the box. Apparently, it has no top. I don't know. It's a three five box. Three five oh. overall. Oh, this thing is pro- fucked. Probably missing. I think yeah. it's not messed up, huh? You want me to look? Sure. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can do my typical zoom in garbage. Uh, looks like it might have the top. What do we got for? What's the nose? You gonna zoom for me? Oh my god! You just pull up, Matt. You can, zoom, <laughs> you can pull around. Boxes Box three. flaps missing. Manual Tape. has. Oh, box flaps missing. So the inner flaps, <coughs> the dog ears. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that that'll actually dock it that bad, huh? Wow. And it's missing the sombrero. Huh. It's a well loved copy of Gyromite. Yep. Well, there you go. These That's don't go cool as enough. high. These these don't go typically as high as the duck hunt, um, from my experience anyway. I know the Duck Hunt mats will go much higher than the Gyromite. Yeah, it's because Duck Hunt is a much better video game than Gyromite. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it I is. Mean, if, he, if he wasn't, if he wasn't going to say it, I was going to say it. Yeah. 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 Um, that Ice Climber is awesome. Ooh, Matt Sticker. Ooh. 7 0. What do you think this is going to do? Mm. I bet this does 2200 bucks. Eric? I mean, I, I don't know enough about Ice Climber. I mean, I know it's you know legendary game, but I don't. Yeah, sticker seal, matte sticker. I mean, it's crazy. Just and a nice. It seems like a pretty high grade too. I mean, it. I don't know. I think I think uh, we've seen a bunch of CIBs in the last two weeks on eBay do pretty well. So yeah, I'm curious to see what this does. Mario, Mario, whatever has been selling for eight grand, graded. I don't even fucking know anymore. Um, <laughs> So just sell everything and yeah. Uh, here's another. Uh, here's a good question. You know, we just saw a cleaning kit sell. What was it last week? Right. Yep. Yeah. What did that go for? Do you guys remember? Wasn't it like close to a thousand bucks? It, it was nine, a lot. Nine hundred, eight hundred, yep. yep. something like that. I mean, hey, like I said, it's a nice looking Mario cover. That's so, a good like. Point. Look at that Mario. He's yep. a. That's a good looking Mario. You know. That's a good looking backside of Mario. Man. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean. It. I'm not talking about the backside. I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. the 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 model choice. Oh, yeah. Nice artwork. Sure. So do you think he dyes his mustache or dyes his hair? You know, now that you point that out, <laughs> uh, is that how they all came, or is this uh, faded? <laughs> is this guy a ginger? I don't know. On We're talking about kit? it. NES cleaning kits graded makes me want to get faded. So that's fair. Uh, that's fair. It's kind of gross. <laughs> I remember I remember when I first got into collecting, you know, uh, I was looking at all the different things that had, had ever been put on heritage and I remember seeing cleaning kits and I was thinking, okay, so the Mario cleaning kit does a lot better than the non-Mario cleaning kit. <laughs> and and now like, you know, that we're talking about it here yeah it's ridiculous that cleaning kits um you know can be graded and and, and do that well but at the same time hey it's artwork it's sealed stuff it's yeah. more approachable yeah that's sure pretty, that's pretty yeah. cool to this cleaning kits credit this is absolutely the hardest cleaning kit to find yep. of the four variants that exist so um, oh i didn't know that there was four variants i thought there was only two that's cool now there's three other before this that look like just a picture of a cleaning kit yeah. jumping out of the stars or some shit. Yep, yep. Um, and there's just slight differences to each one. So, cool. well, there's a red Nintendo logo at the top. There's one with different color and two with different colors, I believe, are the four variants on that stupid fucking thing. So this 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 is definitely a late one because of, they've got the yeah. This is the last one. one. This would have probably came out around the time uh, oh, Top wow. Loader comes out. Um, yeah, Super because Nintendo's it's out. because it's got Super Mario three in there on the cover. So good. 
Sweet. Sorry. It just came out. It's What'd you game. say? I said it's so good. I love that game. Mario 3? Mario 3, yeah. yeah. Great game. It's, it's, it's very good, yes. Yeah. Awesome. You want to touch on Rolling Thunder? <laughs> no. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> oh, my God. Another 9.4 CIB. Sib. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Silver Surfer is um, known as one of the worst games in the world to play because you <laughs> die in one hit and you have to start over. That's it. You are one hit. Is that known as one of the hardest games to play? That's hard. Yeah. I'll have to try it out. Yeah. Honestly, I haven't played it, I don't think. Uh, Vice Project Doom, I love that cover. Yeah. I've been seeing a few of them pop up, but um, they yeah. look pretty beat. So. I like it. You have this good about. game, too. Good, good game. You have this proto, don't you? Mm -hmm. I got the prototype, the mock-up box. Yeah. Sammy taped on the um, front of a Twin Cobra box. Yeah. It's my pride and joy. You want to wow. see it? I'll yeah. Show you. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Pull it out and we can... You want to see it right now? Super Mario 3. Did you just tell me to pull it out so you can see it? <laughs> well, we'll pull it out a little later. Oh, All of us did. <laughs> what do you think the over-under is on this? What do you want to do an over-under on it? I mean... What was the last one? 30? Yeah, but it was a higher grade. It was a 9.6, right? 9.6, like so... Week, so, it's so... You want so, to yeah, say I mean, 20? 20 over-under 20? I think it's going to go over 20. Over 20. Josh, what do you think? It's going to go for like 27. Okay, so both over 20. 25, 27. All right, let's go back to Vice Project Doom real quick. Zoom into that, Matt. Zoom in? Yeah. <laughs> you trust my zooming abilities? <laughs> no, just, yeah, right about there. Let's I get see. nervous. <laughs> it's like so motion, check this out. This is, my, <laughs> this is my baby. Right here. This sent me down the road of oh, wow. um, mock-up boxes. You know, I had always liked them, but I never picked them up. I bought this at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo one year. Um, Damn. And it's it has a stamp, American Sammy on the back. Um, came with the prototype of the game. As so well. cool. It's dumped. It has very small, minor differences, but nothing really to write home about. Uh, pre-printed manual that has some differences like um the kicker was they literally printed it or took a twin no cobra way. box and flipped it inside out and took scary. this printed this up the artwork and glued it on the front um, that's too funny if you can see here his gun is off centered from the v and th there's some stuff that's different down here but if you go back to it, you can see that the gun and the listing there, Matt, yeah. is over the V a little more. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of on the, in yeah. the middle, middle of the upward. Yeah. Oh, and the Sammy logo. That's what wasn't there before. So, yeah. Wow. That's super cool. Yeah, that's, I think, the only difference on the artwork. So. When you put that thing in a slab, my goodness. When am I putting it in a slab? Yeah. I don't know be. if I will crazy that thing is history can you just can you have can you still have wada do it or if you put that on a slab they'll just put it uh pro right yeah yeah okay so yeah. the inside's that. super cool though i guess to see so it's kind of yeah i guess it would kind of not be as cool yeah i don't know i it's weird <coughs> you know it comes so, up it's yeah. all it's like it has all these pieces that came with it originally, so yeah. I'm like, oh, I like it like this. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you can check each of those pieces. Pretty unique. It's really cool. Yeah, I got it in this nice holder here that I never take it out of unless I'm showing it on videos. So. Damn. It just lives in there. It's fine. Beauty and the Beast case. The rose. Mm -hmm. What you say, Beauty and the Beast case? Yep. Yeah, you're right. All right, Matt. Let's get down to some stuff Eric likes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. I love Warrior Woods and Yoshi Cookie. Really? <laughs> They're actually doing pretty well uh, nowadays. 
but yeah, yeah they were definitely pretty funny when i started out well yeah they're they're, cheap. they were the cheapest nintendo game that i could think of that you could find and buy yep they were like yeah i don't even want to think about it now but yeah dude i i bought a case pack and i graded them right in the beginning with water and um i had them they were all nine sixes and i had like two nine eights wow and i literally i took them to wizard world in chicago mm-hmm. uh before i can sign all my games to heritage i think i had five i had six and i sold four of them and i gave two away just to random people <laughs> I was like, hey, you want to try it? See what a Wada game is like? And oh, it, it was a dude goodness. that was dressed like Wario, and I gave him the lowest. So, Maybe it was a nice life game. lesson. Go to the conventions where Josh is at. and yeah. Oh, dude, I get like shit. You're, yeah, yeah. You've never collected anything in your life, and hopefully he'll give you one to start out. Or here's an even better tip. Hit him up on the last day when it's about to close because he's so burnt out. He's just ready to give it all up, and he'll give you great deals. <laughs> I've sold my tables out. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't have a problem finding shit to sell. So yeah. Um, oh, funny stuff. Okay. Um, All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, we got another uh, Ford Display only box because I know you love those. I yeah. don't. Yeah, I love that people are smart enough to grade them and make some money, but I think it's so stupid. I mean, yeah, but pick your poison for display only cases or GTA trilogies. Yeah, for display I, only cases. Yeah, for right. sure. Yeah. Yeah. GTA trilogies not broken out of case packs. Mm. Full on three yeah. games. Yep. Should put a hard stance. Dude, they're doing idea. pretty well. I hate water. to bring it up, but they've been doing pretty well again this last two weeks. I've been going for. Water can't case a full trilogy, can it? Mm, I haven't seen them do it yet. No, they can't. I, They're I, a little too big. But. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that everybody's breaking them out there. Eventually, the yep. sealed case pack is going to be the rare thing in the long run. Because everybody's just busting them out to get nine eights and sell that shit. Yeah. And then there won't be any sealed case packs left, which is fine. Whatever. I was say, speaking of which, there's Donkey Kong Land 3, also one of those case pack games, right? That we saw for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nintendo Age, there was hundreds of case packs. I, I don't remember exactly how many, but. But it, I mean, it is a good game. Yeah. It's per- perfect grade. Um, you know? It, it, like, it's a game. Surprised they gave a perfect grade in a Game Boy game. That's tough alone. Oh, uh, these are case packs, man. Um, I'm yeah. surprised they haven't given a ten on one. Actually, <laughs> the um, this title especially, I'm surprised there's no tens yet, just because of how many there were. I think that Donkey Kong Land Three gives all the other Donkey Kong Land games for Game Boy a bad name, and they suffer because of them. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean because these things are common, so the, people think the other ones. Two are common. and three, two and one and two, you never see. Even feel. the Game Boy Advance ones are pretty hard to find. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. I I agree. Um, the Game Boy Color Donkey Kong Country, I think it is, was actually fairly common for a while. Yep, I've seen that one probably more. But it's a really great cover. It's just DK on it. So yeah, pretty I always deep. get so psyched up when I see it thinking it's the actual Game Boy one, and then I see the color. Yeah. Like, yeah, Donkey Kong Land 1 is tough, man. The first yeah. one. It's a good game, too. Yeah, they, they good all game. of them are good games, man. Mm-hmm. They're fun. Like, for you're talking about a game, but like, on Game Boy, on original Game Boy, those games hold up, man. Yes. Yeah, kind of crazy to think Metroid about. Metroid you know? 2 holds up. You play that, that is a fun game. Yep. yep. Man, Metroid 2, I played the shit out of that. I need one of those. Damn it. I That's going to be expensive. I've seen one. <sighs> okay. So, so we got a... So I got a, I got a weird question. Not that you guys really probably care because I know you guys aren't too big on the Pokemon stuff. But now this there's the, you know, the knowledge about the blue version, how there's the red text error. And it is there any clarification or clear cut first print, first production? Is the red text deemed first production and blue text with the sand true is deemed 
actually like second or is there is it still debated over well eric it depends on which facebook group you go to mm. okay um, that is fair i don't know yeah. <laughs> i think um, i think people make up stuff based on um the version they have what no based on <laughs> you know what they decipher is the reasons why one would come before another but i think people fail to admit that the good majority of the double-ended boxes are from the blister pack games that would be sold at costco sam's club yep. mm-hmm. um that's okay whatever hmm. i don't know they, yeah my um my zelda oracle that i sold a while back that was the foil that was from a, a blister it was a blister yep huh. how much was, was the grade on it um it, I, it got banged around the box a little bit i think it was a nine four a plus i didn't even get the plus plus which was did you get do you have a picture of the blister it was in um i think i have it with me still damn See, I saw a double-ended one that didn't ha- that had a price sticker on it. That you pulled that out of the blister. Yep. Or are we looking at a game here? Let me stop sharing. Sorry. No, that's okay. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, it was up here though, and as you can see, it's a lot larger than. Yeah, that's how my. So it was just rattling was. around. So oh. eventually, I just uh, yeah, made the move. But I mean, still cool. So. Yeah, I and, think a lot of those. A lot of times, those got put in those blisters because Nintendo Costco and Sam's club, they have requirements for how you package stuff to sell it in their store. They want a special packaging. So boom, let's put a guide, let's put a game in it. And then Costco's like, we want all this special packaging, but we also want to be able to sell it to a consumer for under what you sell it to them at, at target. Right. And so Nintendo's like, okay, we'll just make a shittier box lower production quality got it lower like just lower quality we're gonna do it domestically and we don't give a fuck and that's what they did so makes sense foil stamping is interesting though so I don't yeah know. yeah yeah that's right maybe just uh, spot foil is not super expensive when you're printing boxes yep and so if you're doing it domestically versus made in japan they might say made in Japan on the box, but they also might have other printing errors and have really shitty quality control to check things like, oh, we didn't change the ESRB back, like in a Pokemon. So yep. there's a good Definitely. chance that a lot of this stuff came later, is what I'm trying to say. And definitive proof may never exist, but I I would not hold up shittier condition, shittier quality and a higher standard than a better manufactured quality box. Like I harp on it and I will till the day I die that Majesco boxes are fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. And these double-ended boxes that Nintendo has made, 90% of the time, I'm not I'm not gonna say hundred percent of the time, 90% of the time, I'm gonna say almost every time, they are found in blister packs. And -hmm. those were sold at Sam's Club and Walmart or Costco's. So and they had to be manufactured at a cheaper price, so the the margins would be good for Nintendo to be able to sell them in there still. So now let me let me just clarify because you know maybe somebody listening doesn't know, and I'm not fully clear. When you say double ended, what does that mean versus a non double ended game? So you think about an NES box, Matt. Yep. Like any licensed NES game. Yep. Except Athletic World Second Print, but any uh, any game throughout the mm-hmm. nes library mm-hmm. it will have the pain in the ass box that the first time you try to fold when you're like what the fuck do i do right yeah on the bottom so that's a typical i guess they're called they call them y folds right yeah. i i whatever i was gonna it. say yeah it's also easy to think of it as like the top of the nes box has that flap yeah like when you have that same flap on the bottom it's a double-ended box right that's a double uh, and then okay. and then when you have the the folded one the that he's mentioning now like that's on the bottom of every nes box that's the y fold box uh um, so when you're saying double ended it's got basically the flap on top and the bottom not the yep. y on the bottom and right then the flap and on the, the pokemon top. boxes are complete they have a tray built in side of them uh, like the, 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 thing that, 
half like I was going to say that the thing that's interesting here too is, um, you know, talking about the, you, you know, you mentioned Costco stuff and this is a Y fold and the Costco packs that I've seen of the Pokemon yellow have always been the ones missing the ESRB. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if those are double ended. They are. Um, they are. Wow. No ESRB is double ended. Wow. And, they, so, okay. and it goes back to the quality control. Yep. They get, the box is sent to the printer. There's no pre-press check on it. They're not going to go through the rigmarole of saying, oh, we fucked these up. Let's run them again when they're not going to. They're going to be like, ah, it's a low price point. We're selling at Costco. Got it. <clears throat> they're just, that's just what it's going to be. They, Interesting. I, well, I so, learned something. I, I have my a, whole I theories know. that around that and whatever now when we're talking rarity, right fighter too. no but if we're one second before yep, we go street fighter, if we're talking <laughs> rarity on those games we can talk about the blue right sure the sure. red text stand true is significantly so rare. harder to find than any version of any, so, it feels like anything but crystal maybe any maybe more than crystal yeah crystal has a misprint too uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. so where would the red print be on this then? As on, on the, the back, it will say. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. You can hop on this, and this is a blue text, so you got to zoom in again, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to Eric when he. So if you're sorry, he's gonna say. So bad. Look at this. Okay, oh, where it says it. right here, collect up to 139 different Pokemon playing the blue version using the game link. There right are ones that say playing the red version using the game link on the yep. blue so yep that's the one that went for you know big money obviously because it's i mean i've never seen more than like two or three of those things i see so it's not the text itself is not the color red it's just saying that it says line. the word yeah. red yeah it's just playing the red version so it's like a misprint it's I, misprint. I see what you're saying okay they call also it, known they as call error low quality text. control so that, that's pretty cool. All right. Um, there you go. Okay. Learned but this there. one is a double ended, but we're not sure. Do we know about the red text? Is that double ended as well? Is that a wide fold? It's all the, they're, they're double ended. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. Hmm. And then here's your favorite, Josh. Mm hmm. Yep. Good video game. I love that game. I'd buy this. I'd rather um, not buy one that was made in 1998, though. I'll go with the 1992 version. <laughs> and uh, not, not one assembled in Mexico? Nope. Hmm. There's another shitty one right there, assembled in Mexico. T2, yeah, the yeah. arcade game. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. <laughs> It's raining somewhere along here. <laughs> oh, there's hey. a circle of seasons in here. Man, we're just going through all this crap. Oh, foil. That might be mine. Did mine just get relisted? Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Um, meaning I'm... like it's online a while ago, but maybe they put it back in. I have no idea. Yeah. All right. Let's click on this since we're going down this road. Okay. What are we looking at here? Um. Let's flip to the other picture. So you can't really see in this photo, but there's a debate going on. Mm -hmm. I don't well, know if it's so much you debate. Want to zoom in? No, I'm sure. Zoom in just a little bit. <laughs> just because. Okay, pull down your pants. No, leave your pants on. Um, <laughs> on the side here, mm -hmm. you can see the little yellow burst. No, on, uh, the, on side the, the actual box. side of the box. Yeah, oh, over here, right there. So that that yellow burst mm -hmm. um, is on Pokemon Crystal and on double ended versions of this box. Okay, Got Pokemon on. Crystal came out after this game. The double ended boxes have this. The Y fold boxes do not have the burst, and it's a offer for the uh, player's guide, is what it's saying. Got Antenna on. power offer. So. They either came out 
simultaneously. One was printed for Costco's and blister packs, or the non-foil one came out slightly before. Hmm. Interesting. Or at the same. Line now. Yeah. What's that? Said I got to look at my uh, one that I put up there. See what. But it people is. get confused really quick. People get confused on Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Ages, and when the word foil is used, because Game Boy Color games pre two thousand. Yeah, right. Mine, mine is the same. The one that I sold that came out of that blister that I just showed. You had the same burst. Yeah. And the. Uh, yeah, they all do. Oil as well. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's probably like, Nintendo advertising through Costco to get some of their money back, maybe. Just well, saying, hey, buy our Nintendo Power. No, it's just a, a thing that Nintendo added to the boxes, like later on, because the Wifold Crystal has it as well. Oh, okay. There's a double ended and Wifold Crystal, and they all have the burst on the crystals, the Pokemon crystals. Um, the foil. But the does foil matter. that they talk about. They get confused. People get confused with like Game Boy Color foil. They automatically think the uh, text that says Game Boy Color is in foil because games from 2000 and before for Game Boy Color were released and that um, whole side was foil. It was like a spot foil print. Right here. Yep. Yep. Okay. And the foil on this, it's right around the area where it says The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons the, on the front. Right. It's also on the back too, but <clears throat> my thinking is they use these as we have to have different packaging at Costco's Sam clubs. So let's spice it up. We'll put the spot foil on it, show them that we really care, even though we're making a shitty product with a double ended box and um, doing it that way. I mean, think about the manufacturing they didn't have to do on this. They've created a box that's double ended. So it's a, and it's on a lesser quality stock. The cutting die is cheaper. Um, they, put a tray that's inside so you don't have to have an extra step of assembling a tray as well so there's less parts in this so they can afford to add spot foil for another um tenth of a cent to each box so there's nothing limited edition nothing special about it other than that it's cool looking and it's zelda yep yep so interesting yeah but it's First print, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'll be excited to see what, honestly, what this does. I mean, we haven't. Uh, seen... Yeah, <laughs> I wanted it. But oh, sorry. No, no, I'll no, no, no. I don't mean it like out. that. More so, just like <laughs> it's already been seen. You know, it's a, yeah. sitting at two forty. These... It's already been seen. Yeah. I, I think I, I got a stack of these. Eric, I'll send you one. I would love one. Yeah, I think I have maybe one. I am uh, I'm sending in some uh, two Tigerwood 99s to, to get graded here soon. I got it already. Are they I'm just going to ship them. Cracked, non-cracked? One is cracked, one is mm -hmm. not, but they are the Did first Did you buy ones. the cracked one from uh, from Andrew off eBay? No, it was, it was uh, some cheap one that popped up at some point. I'll Which versions do you ago. have? They're both the Easter egg versions, thankfully. Okay. I'm I'm beginning to think that the one without the Easter egg is actually harder to find. <laughs> so, oh really? Yeah, I saw yeah. one was on um or one non Easter egg one sold on uh yeah on here. Oh you know what? I think I did buy the the first one I bought was from Andrew. You're right. That was the first one I bought was through the Yeah, and had a crack on it. I kept almost buying that. No, 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 it didn't. Did. It just didn't have a crack. It just had a tear, a mini tear. The one that, <laughs> or wait, I'm thinking of a different Andrew, maybe. Um, yeah. I bought, I bought one through Facebook, and then I saw someone else had one on on Instagram. But, um, yeah. Man, all the They're Tiger cool. Woods are gone off eBay. Holy shit! Was... Yeah, yeah. Good luck finding those now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They saw that they saw that they were actually worth something, and then they just completely disappeared. Yeah. I mean, they're so hard to come by, the early Tiger Woods games. Yeah. Like, they just were sitting on there, but they weren't, there wasn't tons of them. It was just people weren't buying them. They yeah. they just don't pop up enough, it feels like. I, I was, yeah, I've been looking far and wide. I bought one, member the other day on Mercari 
for 50 bucks or something and then the guy canceled on me and relisted it for 300 on ebay you know what can you do of course of course you did what can you do mm-hmm. what can you do all right what else we got uh this will be interesting to see what this pro skater does is it rtb or eighteen? Double-ended. 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 This is not awesome. HC. HC yep. is a wifel box. Yep. Yep. Rest my case. Yep. There you go. He wants he knows double-ended his, he knows garbage. Stuff. Says <laughs> says the man looking at this two hundred sixty dollar current bid. Okay. Wow. Yeah, they were nineteen dollars on Deal Tavern for a while. Yeah, they were. I remember that. Oh, damn, I got four. Yeah, I think I got four too. Oh well, whatever. I have a white. I have a. Um, HC one, so it's um, very very hard to find. Anything else you want to? Uh, no. well? mm. Wow, that emerald wow. did pretty well already. Holy shit! Ooh. That's nuts. I mean, I know it's a strong game out of the three. You know, you look at sapphire, ruby, emerald. Emerald is definitely the. That's the one. Does the does the one? You know. Yeah. So. Wow. respectable and i think that people were probably waiting for like another nine six or eight to pop up on here and it just hasn't so it's not happening i'm interested to see what this red rescue team does though um i don't know if there's been one on here yet i don't have one but i remember think looking at all the different rescue teams and pokemon explorer games all the different Game Boy advanced ones i felt like this was definitely the one of the ones to buy you know yeah. one of the better ones to buy so. Yeah, I bet these do well over time. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, that sticker yeah. kills me on that Twilight, Twilight Princess. Princess. Yeah, why wouldn't you pull that off? It's not, is it, yeah, no, I don't, because it's a Canadian version and nobody should bid on it anyways. Uh, is it Canadian? Oh, it is Canadian. You hate yeah. to see it, folks. Ugh. They should put the red logo on Canadian versions as well. <laughs> <laughs> up here, up, up with the, the mold mark. <laughs> Hey, Pikmin 3 for the Wii U. That's kind of cool. Pikmin. 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 Yeah. Pikmin. That's cool. Okay. Ooh. I like it. Rick NHL Jolie 96. Mm. It's one on I eBay right now this. for 100 bucks if somebody wants say, it. I've seen a few of these. But yeah. Pretty, yeah, I think it's pretty roughed up, oh, isn't it? Got a Sonic tube scene. Sonic I've tube seen a bunch of RTVs that. popping up. So I, I just feel like. The tube scene doesn't have the it, it was getting the respect it deserves a few months ago a few months ago, but now it feels like it's you know, it's been lost in the sauce a little bit again. Yeah. Yeah. I th- I just think tube seams are just like when I think of Genesis games now, like I just think of tube seams and clamshells as just like the holy grail, you know. It's mm-hmm. just they're so cool and especially when they're clean like that, like an A plus plus. Um that's a nice tube, man. It's so fucking cool, you know? Like this is so respectable to have an A plus plus tube scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, don't don't go down the road of a uh, Sega Master System. If you start getting out, oh like, god, I don't want to sell any of these. <laughs> yeah, they're so cool. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I got a nice yeah. collection right now, but I I absolutely love them, and I look for them all the time, and they never come up nice. Yeah, it's very yeah. true. Uh, and Street, Street Fighter. Fighter 2 is a softbox Majesco re-release. So, mm. um, so you don't want to talk about it. Tough. No, not really. Uh, hard to find. Not. CIB? Um, <laughs> wow. That's weird. Hey, yeah. Dreamcast, probably a resale, right? Oh, good point. Good point. <laughs> be safe and sorry on a $30 game. Um, there are case packs of that game of Chef's Love Shack. Um, there's your case pack game god damn it <laughs> hey I I linked it to you man I don't know what else to tell you okay a hellboy I don't think I've seen too often I got a 9-8 they were out there for a while this game is right. horrible by the way okay. uh, Dream- did Dreamcatcher make any good games I cannot confirm they made that one PS3 game that's worth a shit ton now. It's a nice grade on a greatest hits Grand Theft Auto though. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I was like, mm, I'll be interested to watch that one. Yeah. I think there's a couple greatest hits, right? I'm not mistaken. 
in here. Oh, that's cool. No, no, no. I mean, when you think of uh, like Grand Theft Auto, the game, like I think there's a couple different like versions. Oh no, no. I think there's um. I was thinking of the collector's edition. That's what I was looking at. So, oh yeah, yeah. There's collectors. Yeah, collector's edition. I think came after that one, but mm -hmm. still cool. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch this one. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that hit. I bet that does a well. thousand. I bet it does a thousand plus. Um, man, there's like no starting games in here for me that I want to speak. There's like a uh, couple of Atari games. Oof. These aren't trilogies, are they? No, that's not. So now this one, you know, is that your one's mine? Yeah, that, that one is. So damn, well, it was this or, one it was or this is. one's things. It, it it well, I mean, now it's someone. It's gonna be someone else's, but um, it it's things because uh, about a week or two ago, um, there was a leak that came out, and I it didn't seem like it was like a true leak. It seemed like it was almost maybe by Rockstar or not, but that the GTA trilogy, like GTA three by City San Andreas are being remastered um, mm. for the holiday season. So I was hoping like, hey, you hate know, Valley. They're gonna let you push this thing out a little bit, you know? And uh but like it it was like I it's so recent <coughs> that I didn't I didn't ask early enough and the news came out so mm. so recent. It's just um yeah, so things are things are here and now I wish I could I could hold on to this thing. But Ooh, what a great Yeah. Yeah, I'm just calling one. me and I'll buy it from you instead. Because <laughs> the other thing is one of my is, favorite all-time games, man. I submitted this probably like months ago, right? And there was, pro I think, just so many other San Andreas's. Dude, I know, was in there that they just, yeah. it just kept getting pushed back. So, dude, it, be, when when they first were getting posted online and the trilogies were going up, when yep, characters yep. first started selling them, I bought every single one of the security strips from 90 to 96 on there and because they were going for like 200 bucks 300 bucks yeah people weren't paying attention they weren't paying attention they're like oh it's not a 98 i'm not buying them like i am so i have a stack of these i got from heritage san andreas um, yeah with security wow i was yeah, buying way day. early on like i'd say before this year right 2020 is probably when it was still not yeah yeah very it was, well known it was definitely 2020 and i was buying them so yep, off heritage yep. Yeah, yeah, because they were just getting, and I just remember the one they were at slipping thinking, in with the trilogy. This is so one. stupid! I just remember being so mad. Yep, because like you know, uh, there were so many trilogy copies it out would there. Be like this, Matt. It was the exact same thing. There was a three yeah. and a Vice City that were trilogy, and then there was a San Andreas that was security, and I'd I'd win it because it was a nine six, and the other two were nine eights, and I'd win it for like six hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because they'd bid it up to what they felt the trilogy number was, and then it mm -hmm. was like, ah, oh, I'm done. Yep. Not realize it wasn't a trilogy. Yeah, I was like, I'll take them. So then you got I need one. I got, I think, four or five bought well, off Heritage. I'll have to buy one from you. I want this Kingdom Hearts, but there's no way I'm gonna get it. It's uh, it's such a good grade. Yeah, it's actually incredible. You don't see many plus pluses on mm -mm. PS2 games. You, you don't know? see them on this game. And especially not Kingdom Hearts. Not so. on Kingdom Hearts. This this thing is like like someone actually scuffing. collected this. You know, That's a nice this was grant. not a fluke that made it through time in someone's closet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's nice. All right, what do we got? We got. Ooh, somebody sent in a Forza. These do pretty well, don't they? That would yep. be that would be interesting. Yep. This one is an early one because they don't even call out in the notation the Xbox Live sticker, which I think is Sorry, technically was, early production. Because there's ones without it that I've yeah, seen. Yeah, this should be first. Yeah. Or so thereabouts. That's right. That's cool though. That's a good one. I it's love this game. It's good man. grade too. Or is it or is it so good? What wait, wait, we gotta click on this. I need to know. Is it the infamous shrink wrap scene or is it it is. It's, it's shrink. shrinky. It is. Wow. It's... Shrink without do not sell with Xbox. No, nice. I think it has do not sell. Uh -uh. Uh, we'll find out in a sec. I don't think it did. Oh, Ooh, there it is. No, oh. it does. It does. Man, it's hidden as hell up there. Yeah, man. It's something, most of the time you see at least the red glare. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. So it's. Wow. Wow. Okay. I think these one, yeah. This this should fetch a 
What was this? Nine four? Wow, they haven't notated this first print variant. What? For real? Look, uh, look at the top. Look at the title. Heritage has it. Heritage. Not, has not, it. Oh, not, oh, no. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Not first me. print. Uh, I mean, it was. So I know. I'm just saying. I don't that's... think that they've had that before. They've usually used early production. So yeah, it's it's nice to see them. What? Hey, I got a 360 question. What's up with all the gears of War Two? Every version, even the platinum hits, having a sticker that says "Do not sell" in all the same dates. What about the Gears of War? They have the the sticker. I yeah, have, like, do not I have, sell. Yeah, I have noticed that. I have like, no answer for that. Special one. edition, platinum hits, game of the year, platinum hits, and they all say "Do not sell." And the it, first one, yes, they, they all do. say "Do not." They all have a "Do not sell" sticker on it. It's weird. That's fishy to me. I, now, to be fair, I don't buy Gears of War too, so. No, I was looking at them the other day. I'm like, because I got I got a CIB of the uh, the special edition one. I'm like, this is awesome. I want a grade one. So I went and looked, and they all have this sticker on the top. And even the Platinum Hits one, the exact same sticker. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Getting some resales. Yeah, I did notice that recently. But, I mean, the, I know the one that I got is not a reseal. It was a Platinum no, they're not Hits. It's not a reseal. I know, I'm just, I, I, <laughs> my bad. So, touchy subject. I was just joking. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't think they're Reese's. I don't have them. I believe, yeah, I believe. But... All right, all right. You're <laughs> not a Gears guy. I get it. Well, 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 no, just... I'm a Gears guy, but Gears Two, you know, suck the suck the soul for me a little bit. Oh, Gears it's like Left 4 Dead Two. They just shouldn't have made the fucking game. <laughs> just just for fun, what? It, let's over under. Um, Ooh. I'll I'll pick a number. I think I'm confident enough to pick a number on this one. Uh. Phew. Nine four, let's say fifteen hundred. I was gonna say twenty two. Well, okay, let's do two thousand. How's that? Two thousand over yeah. under. What do you guys think? Over. That's a fair number. Shit. Yep. I don't know. I'd I'll say under. I don't know how I don't know how big people are on this yet. There's also I think a Halo three in this auction, but we'll have to see if it's first print. I don't know. Dude, is, Halo two is sell. is so good. Man, hey, I mean, listen, just play it in the Twitch Rhinos tournament. I know, tournament, but all I'm saying is you know? <laughs> okay. you're, you're the tournament dude. You're the dude. For Halo hey, tournament. I love this I get game. It, I get man. it, but from, from a Damn. mass consumer standpoint, this is the fucking game. I, I'm with, look at that cover. I'm with Eric that I think this might go under, but I promise you, I, I can like almost lay my soul down on this. This will be way over in the future. This is going to be big. Way over. Just saying. Halo 2. All right. Well, we have our overrunners on that. That's oh. sick. Um, keep seeing these oh. Deadpools and these Supermans every week, I feel like. What the Yeah, because you can get them off eBay for 30 bucks. Yeah. Mm, yeah, the Superman's been doing good, though. I mean, it's been... But three, that's a cool cover, right? Three, this is, this is a cool-looking game. Someone submitted a case pack. Well, if you want to go to Deal Tavern right now, you can still grab them. They yeah, but you will cancel your orders. Case friends. Okay, more than one. <laughs> I've gotten four lately, so you haven't been canceling mine. Here we go. This is oh, cool, though. Thing. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Um, the game be, is not good. Come on, let's talk about it. H3? Uh, oh, so this is the end. Oh, huh? no, the um, Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool. Yeah, I was going to say, dude. But it's got I'm Deadpool on the front. So. Oh, but yeah. All right, let's, we're looking at this, so. We're just skipping right to this. This isn't uh Damn. Damn. I'd love to see. I mean, I don't ca- even though it's not, I don't care. This thing is gonna blow up. Halo three is nuts. Nine six eight I know. plus. It's That's a gray grade. What hmm. it's five twenty five before. That's sick. It should be doing a lot better than that probably, but Yeah, I I mean it's just there's not enough of these, you know, in my opinion. There's not enough of these for the amount of people that played this game and love this game. Makes makes me throw up just a little bit. I mean, I did just give Sean one. <laughs> that was really nice. <laughs> but that's I mean, okay. Yeah, wow. the, I mean, it, dude, it's just like, it's one of those games that just did the test of time. Same with, obviously, a bunch of Halos did, but Halo mm-hmm. 3, a lot, of, a lot of people have fond memories playing with friends online, playing Forge and theater and watching clips all that kind of stuff super yeah. cool halo 3 is just massive i mean if i've if i've if i have to think of how many you know when i sell a halo 2 or halo 3 privately um 
I, I can sell a Halo 3 unbelievably fast compared to if I were to sell either one of them, if yep. I'm pricing them fairly. Yep. Um, yep. They just go so fast. I'll do an over-under on this one too. Uh, 1500 Damn, uh, I will go over. And mind you, this is not a do not sell before. I know, but it's just, it doesn't matter. The, I agree. The Halo 3 is just so, it's like, the cover's iconic. It, even, any pretty much anything that isn't platinum hits feels like it's rare. So, and I, and um, I'll, I'll yeah. tell you from a Halo collector's point of view, um, 10 years ago, I saw some crazy sales, even back then, of some Halo 3 stuff, so... Josh, what do you think? Over or under fifteen hundred nine six A plus, standard um, copy. Standard copy. Under. Okay. Oh, well, it's such a tough number. I'm going over just know, because I'm. So what? <laughs> you say two dollar two dollar game. Two dollar game. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, it like came out. All right. Hey. I, uh, before we hop off, do, do either I don't know anything about these games, but I've, they've been popping up. Do you, do either of you know anything about these Rumble Roses games? I think they're also case back games just, or deal type games, something or another. It seems like people, you know, I don't know about Rumble Rose. Um, really? I feel like we saw it already. This is. We, I think we saw DOA volleyball or some bullshit. Um, okay. The, this has a pretty good following. Follow for, for, for I can't talk following um it was on ps2 the first one this must be mm-hmm. rumble rose double x can't wait till triple x comes out on series x though so um we'll see huh. okay well i just knew probably about not buy that and then what? there's just a the random communist it- mutants from space hanging out at the end <laughs> why <laughs> where else right. would you stick right. a communist well, that's put it at the bottom. I agree. Christ, yeah. I have to agree um, with you there. All right, anyway, we're done. We're done. We're done. I I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, we we need to chat just for a minute. So, Eric, what? <laughs> you, you're hanging in there, John. Eric. What did you do recently that you came? I heard you came out of hibernation. Yeah, I got a, I got asked to play um, in this Twitch, you know, Twitch streaming, Twitch Rivals tournament. They run these. Uh, like fun, usually uh, streamer tournaments, and uh, I don't stream really, you know. Or I, I don't, I don't even play Halo really anymore. But they uh, asked to play with some of the old Halo, you know, big guys, and it was hosted by Ninja, uh, who's this, you know, big gaming dude I used to, I used to play Halo with, and uh, yeah, got to compete in, in in like a little mini friendly tournament and won some some money, had a lot of fun. Did it on like no sleep, but um, it was it was just fun getting getting to hang out with a lot of these guys that I haven't talked to in in ages. So it's cool. And now, where can people go to see this? Because I oh I'm, yeah, I'm, so um, if you go to like Twitch Rivals, uh, they're you know the main Twitch channel. You could just go to rebroadcasts in the videos uh, section and and check out the Halo Rivals stuff. It's uh, pretty recent, so it should be probably the um, the last video that they have or something like that but um yeah it's cool there's there's it's it's very well produced you know i've been watching through it myself because i had a play in it i didn't get to watch and um it's yeah they got a lot of good videos interviews a lot of yeah it's it seems like they put a lot of time into it so it was fun to be a part of it yeah they had puck it back which was awesome i was yep. like transformed me right back to like man it felt like 2006 or sorry 2007 2008 yep, I was yep, like, yep. and then all the i mean when they brought back the pros you know it wasn't like they just scraped the bottom of the barrel i mean you you had some of the some of the top i mean yeah you were, you were missing a few of the you know like ogres or whatever but yeah they had um one of them lives in australia and the other one um was working this past weekend at uh he works with the call of duty team so they had a big championship this past weekend so he couldn't play in it but yeah ho- ho- hopefully they do something like that again soon it'd be cool it, w- it was uh more fun than i expected and i, I thank the guy who who reached out to me for kind of like getting me out of my hermit cave because i you know i just usually say no to those things i've been saying no to those things for a couple of years now just because it's easier to say no and just go about my day but yeah 
was uh, was fun. It was like an eight hour, you know, sit at my desk and stream thing. So well, tough, for, but fun. Well, for any of our viewers that want to see it, uh, I've I'm about six and a half, seven hours into about eight hours. He of skips it. though. He cheats. Don't worry. He's not <laughs> six hours. He skips to, around. To, to be honest, I skipped uh, when your team wasn't playing. Oh, that, that was it. I watched yeah. all of your stuff. I That's take what it all I was back. Watching. <laughs> like a fanboy over here. I take it all back. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. I even I, have Twitch. I, I was just kind of thinking. I was like, I know you have a black streams, Josh. I know you haven't been playing. So I was like, how good can he play after not playing and then just hop right back in, which is insane because some of those people you're going against have been playing every <laughs> single day since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been grinding. <laughs> so you like that Montana Black comment too much? Did you get, what does he play? What does that guy play? He plays a lot of stuff. He Not Atari games, though, but he does play uh, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, he plays um call of duty war zone sometimes you play a couple like a couple different things and then could you beat him could you beat him in halo 2 there's not many people that uh <laughs> could beat me in halo 2 john i want to watch it i <laughs> want to see this, I, this. So I think i could be eric him, yeah. and montana black <laughs> throwing down in halo 2. Wouldn't, wouldn't be much to see oh, i just want to see it and beat him that's all. that's all yeah i could take him down for you and you and you're playing for his green Lamborghini. I'm I mean, yeah, that. we could we could do pink slips. We could do pink <laughs> slips. I've been watching the Fast and Furious series again just to uh, see what I've been missing out on, and uh, pink slips, you know, comes to mind. So. Man, my my point earlier was I was impressed that somebody could take that much time off, come back, and just still crash. Oh it. yeah, so yeah. I got. I mean, I um. Yeah, I don't play the game at all, really, anymore. Yeah. I, and I don't play controller games, unfortunately, because I switched mostly over to PC. So it's been a while since I've, like, played on any controller. Um, well, no one, like, played Halo or at a high level. And, hmm. yeah, I took a couple of free-for-all rounds to warm up, but got back in the swing of it. And, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, like riding a bike, man. It was so sick. Like, <laughs> it's fun. Matt, you and I, we need to uh, get some – Four player warlords with a couple other people and stream that. Ooh. On <laughs> hey, there's a lot of I there's a guy that um named Maximilian that streams a lot of old fighting games with him and his buddies. It's like three him and three guys, and they're all in the same place. And uh they do super well with viewership and stuff. And I watch the hell out. They're playing like they'll go through all the old PS1 fighting games that like no one remembers, like you know, Mutant Academy or mm -hmm. or like some of the weird marvel verse like x-men or street fight that people like love the covers but don't remember how like janky some of them are you know and um and yeah they play those and i mean th it's a blast to watch people play couch co-op games honestly so hmm. they do pretty well so You're that means you have to come over and play video games with me matt please i will watch and and oh, say geez. stupid things and laugh you. if you want to laugh man yeah we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll do it take that <laughs> Let's do it. You'll just have to show We're us. We're gonna play to some it. Virtua Fighter. Or do they just oh, ring right. out? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I obviously we love having Eric on, um, and we had to because uh, Dan backed out uh, last second. Oh, thanks, guys. Really uh, appreciate that one. <laughs> got punched right there at the end. No, but I, I mean, <laughs> I should have bailed on you. In his defense, he was. Uh, Dan Kaplan, of course. Uh, he was yeah. busy con convincing Johnny Five from Short Circuit that he is not alive. Mm. Johnny Five? Oh, not, not alive. Okay. No. Okay. Just saying. A Short Circuit parts of it were filmed <laughs> in Oregon. So. Yeah, they were. They uh, <laughs> just <crazy>. fifteen minutes <laughs> north. Just want to see if you know your Oregon film history, there, Matt. Yeah. And Goonies, right, guys? Yeah. That's that. a Goonies. Everyone knows that one. Cross that one. Up. What? Goonie? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, I know. That's Goonies. awesome. Oh, yeah. Represent. Um, That's it, I guess. That's it. Wait, wait, wait. There's one last thing. It's oh, yeah. oh, oh we, haven't done, we haven't done wins. Wins and losses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got some losses. Here, actually. You got a loss, Josh? You got a loss, Eric? Um, Yeah, Maybe. I do. For sure. Where's and this it? is a good one. We'll have to have uh I have it 
candy. Dan Gomez chime in on this one because I had to have water inform you. This one, a uh, little reseal going on here. No. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, well, That's okay. Tough. Because normally um, on all my legit copies up here, it'll say like made in and then the code isn't here. This code isn't here. It's on the bottom. Yeah, that's yep, what you that's want, right. baby. There you go. And then the, actually on this reseal case, I'm going to tell you, you, Josh, if you could hold yours back up. You see how his is just slight. It's going to be hard to see. His is slightly less translucent. This yeah, one yeah, is yours is very translucent. Super translucent. Yeah, I can so tell. So you could see these What clips. game is that that you got that on? Oh. Minecraft. Uh, so which version, Matt? People uh, buying these, be careful. People are resealing these. And I bought this a while ago. Is that a ago. first print, quote unquote? No, this is a second. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a first print, but still. Scary. I mean it's scary a, stuff, folks. You know, I was still paying a hundred bucks for this back in Yeah, yeah. Still still are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pay attention because clearly the resealers are after that really fast. I um I don't and know where it went. Bags. I got a uh a resealed Half Life two. Oh. oh no! Excuse me, not Half Life Two. Half Life One on on. Oh, PC. that's worse. Yeah, a lot worse than a Half Life Two. Did you return it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But oh, well, I'm in the process of you know I have to ship it back. But I'm so miserable that like I don't even want to look at it. But yeah, it's one of those things. Isn't that the worst? You get something you're excited about it and it's fucked up or fake. Yeah, especially since like the Half Life is the one that keeps fucking escaping my grasp. I just need, you know, just I just want one, just to hold on to it because I love the game. Yeah, Half Life. I'm sure you could trade your Super Mario World for one. That would be a stupid trade, Matt. <laughs> I'm just saying you can probably get one. Yeah, I don't have any losses. Guys. I just all right, all right. Oh, wow. How about right. wins? What do you just got? Too for perfect wins? over there, right? You just know every seal. There's no <laughs> losses. Yeah. Great. Got this rad star gate hat Whoa. recently, but movie came off the top. In the movie, yeah. Damn. From the VHS. Live. Damn. Great movie. Okay. Um, I don't know. I bought shit. I got shit. What do you guys want to see? What do you got? The coolest got. thing you got. Hmm. What's the coolest thing you got? Yeah. Recently. Um. I don't know. Everything. Let me look around. Oh, I was talking about this. We got a Reality Quest glove for PlayStation One recently. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm that bad. was that was sealed? new, and you opened. I didn't open. It had already been opened, but I don't think it was ever mm. used. Um, picked up some Pokemon toys, some old ones, stupid shit like that. That's Still something. There. Um, I got a Sega Saturn. Brand new. No, it's. Nice copy in the box. Oh, that oh, is man. that is nice. That is super nice. Oh, with the Virtue Fighter, is this, you get that off eBay? No. Wow, that's Some cool. Dude. That's a cool find. Was a Virtual Fighter opened? Um, yeah, it's opened. Oh, okay. nice. I got I got nice. this one. I uh, pulled it off of. Oh, pretty happy. That game is so one. good, man. SS3. So I love those games. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty happy about it. It's clean. I mean, it's got the little, you know, crappy thing. What is it like? Someone removed it actually, but that the really hard to remove mm -hmm. yeah. sticker thing. So left the... so it's still got some of that gunk left, but yeah, you know, can't complain. Nope, that's a good one, man great game i played the shit out of this as a kid yeah i did too like I so that. much like i can i just hear the damn theme song in my head looking at it sounds Eric, cool. i think it's appropriate that you're on here that i oh damn what did he get <laughs> well oh yeah 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 that was a good win that it's a nice one it's my first long box was that a link eric that was that was something I sent Matt. Yeah, As a it was solid, uh, solid super, score. Super nice. We had just we were just texting each other about something. <laughs> I was working and I see this thing pop up and I'm like, "Well, shit! I don't really have the money for that right now because I'm about to go on a family vacation and I don't want to, you know, empty out some fun. So I'm gonna send this over to Matt who I was just talking to and I Damn. and he bought it 
within a second, I think, of seeing it. So how much did it set you back, Matt? You don't have to uh, say. It. Don't say it. You can tell me later. Oh, okay. Um, but trust me, I'm I I'm I'm gonna make that right. right with make that right with Eric. Let me. He did you. make it right. Wait, where is it? He made it right. Well, that's not the end. It's not the end of it, man. Oh well, that's not fair. But uh, he uh, maybe if this is, <laughs> the is the right now, but he made it right. Nice. That's a start. Oh, Yo, did you buy that off Amazon? <laughs> no, no, this was oh, Matt sent it to me, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I, it was not Amazon. That was I just I was patient and I bid for it. You got it off eBay? Yeah. Holy shit! It's a good price. I know, dude. That game is fucking hard to find sealed. No, yeah. Eric. No, Eric has it. Yeah. So that it was might cool. hard, it I know, might it's not as hard, hard as a ridge racer. Sealed, then, no, I don't know, man. Dude, a fucking jewel box, long box, a jewel long box. I don't know. Dude, South Peak Interactive shit box condition for N64. Those boxes are yeah. jacked. I know. All yeah, I haven't found a clean one. It's you know, it's no NFL Blitz box, like you know, but it's it's yeah, it's not a pretty one either. So we'll see. They're yeah, tough. take any you can get on those. I have yeah. one that I have one that's gonna grade a nine L. I had a seven O wow. on the Rainbow Six. I had a seven O and I sold on Heritage. It did okay. But I only sent it in because I picked up one that was nicer. So that's it's, awesome. It's impossible on sixty four. Yeah, man. There's a couple of things that I just can't find uh, in, in good condition. That's one of Rainbow them. Six is so rad, man. I love that game. Yeah, I, th- I think I have like a seven zero or seven five on that, and that was, yeah, good find. Sweet. Uh, Ed, so thank you, Eric. Obviously, and yeah. I'm I'm gonna make that more right for you. Don't worry. Yeah. I need to be more prepared with should I buy? I guess I got stacks of stuff around me. I don't know. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I started packing stuff up because I'm sending some stuff in, but I need to do that tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, it's been fun, guys. Well, sweet. Yeah. Thanks for coming on again. Uh, it's fun having you. Uh, yeah, it's fun hanging out. I know we could go forever. Doing what so, we do yeah. every day anyway, just chatting about video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, we don't do it too often so that we can still see our families. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I say that. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like you guys, but. Yeah. like you, but. It's just we spend too much time talking about this stuff. <laughs> that's true Josh that's is true. like come on really you eat it, you eat it in sleep man yeah yeah so do you asshole yeah <laughs> I'm talking about a garden today man I went out and I picked the fruits of my labor a bunch of tomatoes damn a lot of fucking tomatoes damn what are you mm-hmm. making BLTs yeah I will be okay what else can come we come over do? and have BLTs I just want to jump in the pool. Yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever made like fresh, like tomato sauce, you know, with tomatoes. Can you do that? Or is it, or is she, you no, know? You can't do that. No, you just no? can't make tomato sauce with tomatoes. No, you can't. Tomatoes. <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, like they do, they give you the cans, they say crushed tomato dice. I don't to know if they the store treat it with some sauce. Yeah, you. <laughs> You have to add a little accoutrement. Is it? In, is it, it has to be incredible, huh? Garden tomato, tomato sauce. Yeah, garden tomato, tomato is just incredible. Yeah, like an heirloom garden tomato. I don't know. Man. Maybe I should just let me take know. Let me if you make the sauce and it's good. Let me know because I'm curious. All right. Oh, if I make it, it'll be good. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let your wife make it, baby. <laughs> 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 never know what josh would put i'll in let there. your mom make it <laughs> she's <laughs> great at making sauce i bet great, I bet. great at making sauce <laughs> <laughs> we just had uh you know amazing spaghetti meatballs and brazil so you know you stop recording that all right it's been fun <laughs> <laughs> all, right, we'll no, it's all going in uh thanks for watching leave your thoughts comments yeah all the rest um thanks again